Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Streggy, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm your host, David Streggy, and, uh, Tonight, I have a review for you of a short film from Sweden directed by Xander Tarium. And it was written by Sarah, um, Sarah Gier Gierkskis, uh, Gierkski, who stars in this film as well as, uh, well, who co-stars in this uh, this short film called Rotten Love, along with Xander Turian. Now, Sarah Gierkski, she runs Bloody Fierce Productions, um, which is part horror channel podcasting, part having to uh, something to do. Uh, production wise producing wise with scripts that she has written and we have two characters that are played by these two um and xander is um is the producer behind uh cup right productions now Xander plays Leo, a man who evidently is coming home from work on Halloween night, and he is surprised to see his girlfriend or wife, Kat, who is played by Sarah Gierkski, um, that she is there at home. And uh, so evidently something has happened and so ultimately they end up on the floor they, we see him smash a wine glass and it, it appears that he chokes her to death while fucking her and but when he gets up and we think that he's killed her right then and there there is a trail of blood leading to the bathroom and um, when he goes in the bathroom, we see um, the body of Cat um, there in the tub. And she starts to explain to Leo that he has actually been off of his medication. And that is why uh, it would explain the fight that they had last night. And then we see a scenario that uh, he had actually come home and he had 
uh, literally stabbed her to death with the wine bottle and then dragged her body to the, um, well, not to death, but evidently she was still somewhat alive, um, and dragged her body to the um, bathroom and then apparently hit her head on the tub and then proceeded to choke the living hell out of her. Now, I thought the acting in here was really good on both of their par uh, parts. Um, there was definitely some visuals, some, uh, uh, you know, suggested vi uh, visuals that um, I, th I thought were, was entertaining, especially through the part that Xander thinks happened. Um, and I think the, uh, uh, the way he doesn't realize exactly what happened and how he, uh, he ended up killing Cat is kind of entertaining. Now, from what I understand, he takes her body out to dig it, and then ultimately he ends his own demise. Now, I don't really want to say how or, or anything like that, but I thought that the ending was cool. I thought it was definitely a very good film. It was... Uh, I mean, to, uh, to be, to portray a ghost or uh, haunting this man um, after, you know, evidently they, their love had actually gone wrong, you know. Um, it was definitely a toxic kind of love. So I thought the effects in here were, uh, were really cool. I've lo I, I love this production. Um, it's one of my, I think it's one of my fa uh, favorite short films right now, at least in in this particular year. And uh, I commend you, Xander, for, uh, for the direction of the f uh, film. It definitely turned out pretty good. And uh, I hope to see more from this uh, production team uh, put together. And uh, actually, this was a bonus on the uh, film called Sargod, uh, which was directed by someone entirely different, which I will review next. So in any case, hopefully you like um, how I described this film. Um, uh, definitely like and subscribe my channel if you have seen this film or if you would like to see this film. I'm sure there is a way that you can contact uh, Sarah Gierksky, um from Sweden, or Xander Turian uh, for a copy of Sargod, which they might still have copies of. Um, but um, I was entertained, and I would like to see more done with this this team, especially as, uh, when you hear what I have to say about Sargod. In any case, uh, uh, definitely like and subscribe uh, our channel. Comment below if uh, you have seen this uh, film, um, whether or not you have the same um, viewpoint. I don't know. So let me know your thoughts. And uh, I definitely enjoyed uh, giving my thoughts out to, uh, uh, out to you. So uh, in any case, hopefully have a good afternoon, morning, or however you're enjoying uh, uh, this. And thanks for listening. All right, once again, this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm David Streggy, and here I have another review for you. Um, it's probably beca uh, because, in a sense, it kind of goes with uh, the review I did before this. Uh, but um, a little over half a year ago, I uh, put mon uh, uh, put some money towards a, a project on, uh, I, I believe it was Indiegogo. And it was for a campaign called Sargod uh, from a filmmaker in Sweden. And it was written by Sarah Gierksky. 
Um, and forgive me if I have said her name wrong or said your name wrong, Sarah. Uh, but um, what's interesting is that your name is all over this, even though it's directed by Andre, Andres uh, Ramos. Um, and the production companies behind the, uh, uh, this are Bloody Fierce Productions and Copyright Productions, which, uh, which means that Xander Turian is involved. And uh, he is. Um, as it turns out, um, uh, this film is about a young girl named Elena and her family, uh, her mother and her sister to be exact. They evidently have come uh, home to a cabin that they would use from time to time and uh, when they were younger, I believe, and their father had just recently died. And uh, the story that we're told is that, and the, the story that she knows that Elena and her, Elena and her sister uh, know Lily, to be precise, um, is that her father has died in a car, uh, crass. So what they uh, what they decide is that they would t take her father's ashes out to the, to the woods and spread his ashes in his memory. But um, as it turns out, there uh, there is a woman who used to take care of them. Who used to be like a second mother to Elena and uh, Lily, uh, who goes by the name of Merritt. Um. And she hold uh, she is harboring a terrible secret um, about some family members of Elena's and Lily's that evidently was in a dark period of her time uh, 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 while she was a druggie, evidently, um, and. What happens is three brothers who ended up ultimately being um, sired by uh, Elena's father um, have come to um, destroy part of, uh, to basically kill off the part of the family that evidently they, or at least hurt the family probably a little bit of both because they had uh, they had lives that they had never had and uh also evidently their father had had to go uh, go to them for some money and uh, couldn't pay up or something like that or vice versa and uh there's another character who, uh, who Xander uh, 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 Turian plays. He plays Oliver. Uh, evidently, he used to play with uh, arm wrestle with uh, Alina when she was young, uh, younger, and uh, um, somehow uh, Oliver ended up running into Alina while she was walking home from Mer Merritt uh, after Merritt um, had acted really strange and told her never to come back. Uh, again, so um, ultimately, the characters of Marcus, John, and Alexander um, end up end up crossing paths with Elena, and Lily, and their mother while they are trying to spread the ashes of um, her father and uh, end up stabbing Alina and leaving her for dead while taking Alina's mother and her younger sister off to God knows where. And ultimately, is it, it, uh, this film ends up being about the revenge that Elena and X upon the family members that have 
basically killed off her family. And when Oliver gets involved, and bad things happen, is is what kind of turns the turning point. And ultimately, this is a fight for survival uh, and a fit of wills. And uh, there is definitely some gore. There's definitely some level of violence in this film. But it is a slow rise to violence. And there are parts of this film that kind of remind me of I Spit on Your Grave, in a sense. Uh, because you have uh, the, uh, the uh, this group of men who, who enact some violence against a young lady, and she basically comes and hunts, the, uh, uh, takes household household knives and whatever she can find, and hunts uh, hunts these guys down, you know. And um, I enjoyed it. I'm glad that I put money towards it because it was a really good st uh, plot li uh, line. I mean, it had similarities to, uh, to, uh, to some films, but you know what? I believe that it is an orig original idea um, thought up by, uh, by Sarah, and um, I think it pl uh, works well with the people th uh, that were involved with the film. Uh, I mean, all, all the characters acted pretty good. Um, and I could, underst I could understand... Um, Whoever did the English for the subtitles got the uh, got the English spot on. There was n uh, n uh, nothing that's uh, that looked like it could have been like um, offhand English, like half English, like uh, some languages sometimes tend to do, uh, do, where it sounds like they're unintelligent. So um, I commend them for having a very good subtitled film. Uh, for uh, and what's interesting is they had. English music involved in the soundtrack. So uh, I thought that was somewhat entertaining. But in any case, um, this is a good film to, uh, to watch War on the Rise. Hopefully it finds... Uh, wh what surprised me is that, that at first I thought I had put money towards a short film. When this ended up being a long, length, lengthy feature, that, that kind of surprised me. So um, now that I've finally seen it, I'm glad that I have, and I'm glad that I can share my thoughts about this film to other people, and hopefully that uh, other people will find a copy of this film or fi uh, find it to watch and enjoy it for them uh, their own selves. So uh, thank you for listening to, uh, uh, to me. I have This has been Inside Movies Galore. Uh, comment down below if... Uh, if you have seen this film, or if you've liked this film, or if you uh, you want to see, uh, see it, I'm sure I can point you in the right direction. In any case, have a good evening or morning, wherever you are. You were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?